Hey everybody, and welcome to the Carnival Valor Ship Tour. There are 13 guest decks and room enough for almost 3,000 cruise lovers. There's a lot to see, and I like to start at the very top. This is deck 12, and we're going up to deck 14. This is where the entrance of the slide is. There's also a sun deck, and also the 21 and over Serenity area. And this Serenity deck has two hot tubs and plenty of loungers, and it also has a great view. All right, we're gonna head down to deck 12. This is a larger Serenity deck with a bar and more seating. I really like these couches and chairs. They are comfortable and they're covered with shade, but you are still very close to the ocean. And through the ship on the other side is a sun deck with a pool table and more loungers. It's a great place to watch Sail Away or look for pier runners. And inside on deck 12 are the kids clubs. All right, let's head down to deck 11. Outside, it's a great view of the whole pool deck, but first we're gonna head inside to the spa and gym. And there are plenty of treatment rooms. They do have a barber shop and a salon. And they also have separate locker rooms for men's and ladies with their own steam and saunas. And the gym has a really cool group exercise room with skylight ceilings. Back outside on deck 11, we're gonna head down past the mini sun decks to deck 10 where there's a small pool and hot tub. And this is where the slide ends. Across deck 10, there's a walkway all the way to the back of the ship on both sides, overlooking the pool. Right after the pool on deck 10, there's a stairway up to deck 11 for the jogging track. Of course, if you follow the jogging track to the back of the ship, you'll see the aft pool. And going back the other way on the jogging track is the sports court. And on either side of the sports court, there are stairways up to the sun deck on one side and the mini golf on the other side. Back on deck 10, we're gonna head to the aft of the ship. And along the sides of the ship, you're gonna have a lot of places to sit. There's couches and chairs and smoking areas. And at the aft of the ship, you can overlook the pool. There are stairways on either side of the ship to get down to deck nine, where the pool and hot tubs are. Heading back towards midship inside, you're gonna find the old fashioned barbecue and it overlooks the buffet area. And in the main elevator lobby, right by the main pool is the steakhouse. And we're gonna head to deck nine at the aft of the ship. And there's a pool and two hot tubs at the back of the ship, which is a really nice place to hang out. I found that it can be kind of quiet back here on port days. If you end up staying on the ship, this is a great place to come. There's also a pool bar, which is awesome. And they have pizza and seafood back here. So if you get hungry, you can have a snack.
And this ship has a really nice design. There's a retractable roof for not so perfect weather conditions so you can still enjoy some pool time. Inside on deck nine is the buffet. And nice to know they actually do have a coffee bar here right in the buffet area. There's a lot of different stations you'll find different food at, but they also have some fun options like the deli and a sushi bar, which is great, and plenty of seating. Just outside on deck nine, past the buffet, is the main pool deck. And you do have food options out here. This is one of them, this is Guy's Burger, so you can pick your favorite burger and put your toppings on there. And they do also have a couple of pool bars, very conveniently located on the pool deck. And there are plenty of seats at the bar or surrounding the bar. Some of them are in the shade, and of course you can always choose to sit on a lounger. And they also have two hot tubs. There's stairs up to deck 10, but also the pool has some soaker seats, so you can put your feet in the pool and cool off and still stay in the sunshine. And just behind this wall is Blue Iguana Cantina for burritos and tacos, and of course they have the salsa bar. You can put all the toppings that you would desire. And on both sides, you will find self-serve ice cream. And they have plenty of seating, but I found these gaming tables to be quite unique. And decks eight, seven, and six are cabin decks, so we are gonna head to the back of the ship on deck five. These are some of the places you will find fun at night. There's the Paris Hot Club, the Comedy Club, and the Piano Bar. They're all great spots. And just steps away on deck five on the promenade is the alchemy bar where you can get your handcrafted cocktails with a great view of the ocean. This is indeed the area to hang out at night. There's also a nightclub here, which is great for music and for dancing. And right next door is an arcade. Down the way is the Red Frog Pub. This is a great place to hang out. They have live music, they have table games, and of course, it's a great place for live music. And further down, you'll find the coffee shop. And the desk at the end is used for bingo card sales. And at the end of the promenade is the casino and the casino bar. There's plenty of seats around the bar. They have a dance floor and a stage for live bands. And I love this promenade. This is one of my favorite places to hang out because you can people watch. You can just sit comfortably and have a drink or bring your snack here and have a snack. It's amazing, it's awesome. And we're gonna check out the casino. We do have plenty of machines and a variety of new slot games, which is great. They also have table games, of course. Mm -hmm. 
beyond the casino is the atrium and shops and a sports bar surround the atrium which is great this is actually a very popular place to hang out there are some seats here up on five let's take a quick peek at the shops and the sports bar On deck five at the very end is the theater. And this you can actually access on deck five, deck four, and deck three. We're gonna head down to deck four right from the theater. And coming from the theater on deck four is also the atrium. And around this atrium on this level, you're gonna find the Photoshop. So you're gonna have a lot of different pictures throughout the week posted on these walls. You can buy gifts and things like that. And there's also the library. On deck four is also the teen club and a main dining room. Also on deck four is Winston's bar, but you have to access it from deck five on the promenade. So we're gonna head down and check it out. They do hold a few activities here. One thing that they do is build a bear. All right, we're gonna head down to deck three, which is also the atrium. And you have an atrium bar here, and they do actually have a lot of stuff going on here. This is a main place people hang out. They do trivia and games and music. There's guest services and shore excursions. At the very end, of course, is the bottom level of the theater. Also on deck three is one of my favorite places to go. It's the outside deck three promenade. You can catch a nice breeze down here and be really close to the ocean, a good view, and there are a few seats, but it's just really nice to get some fresh air. And here's a view of the main dining rooms. This one is by the atrium. And the other one is near the aft of the ship. Lastly, we're gonna take a look at an ocean view cabin. This is a very spacious room, but they do not have a USB by the bed, which I would prefer. You have to plug in at the desk. Lots of storage and very comfortable. And that concludes my tour of the Carnival of Valor. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you soon.